हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट अवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज प्रोडक्ट इन विच वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्केलर एंड वैक्टर प्रोडक्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो से डॉट प्रोडक्ट एंड क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट स्केलर प्रोडक्ट इन स्केलर प्रोडक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल राइट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्केलर एंड वैक्टर बोथ दैट यू विल अंडरस्टूड बोथ टूगेदर so let me write a definition over here in the definition when two vector are multiplied multiplied together if their if their products came product schemes out to be to be vector the same definition for a scalar comes out to be vector or sorry वैक्टर और स्केलर क्वान्टिटी वैक्टर एंड स्केलर क्वान्टिटी सच एज प्रोडक्ट इज कॉल सच एज प्रोडक्ट इज कॉल सेम ओवर हेयर यू कैन ऑल्सो से क्रॉस और डॉट प्रोडक्ट ओके दीज आर द दिस इज द सेम डेफिनेशन फॉर स्केलर एंड वैक्टर बोथ ना लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्केलर दैट हाउ स्केलर इज एंड हाउ वैक्टर इज सो वॉट वी विल डू दैट over here first of all we will write the explanation of a scalar basically we have uh, discussed about a scalar quantity that what a scalar quantity is but a scalar product is also called dot product dot product okay so first of all i will give explanation over here of that then i will make a diagram okay next we are having explanation in explanation we will write that two vectors two vectors a and b having magnitude of have magnitude of a and and b having magnitude of a and b then line od and oc makes an angle max an angle on x axis this is called dot product or you can say scalar product okay let's take one example mathematically we should also do this so mathematically it will like a dot b is equal to the magnitude of this both means a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a and b cos i don't have a sign of theta so i am writing over here cos theta
cos theta okay these both are the vector quantity vector quantities a and b and what is make it make the magnitude of a and b that is scalar okay let's move further uh, let's take one more example with this uh, one more thing that how you know that is a dot product so in which vector there's a between in a between having dot is called dot product and having cross is called cross product okay let's take one example of that then move to the diagram one example like we are having a um, formula of force formula of work force dot displacement both are vector and giving us scalar work scalar okay after that we are having power force into velocity both are vector giving us power what giving us power and a uh, scalar after that what we are uh, we are having that uh, we are having uh, uh, one more thing that we should write over here then you guys will forgot that in which two vectors in which two vectors dot in which two vectors having dot is called dot product okay now let me make a diagram of this like we are making diagram over here in explanation we said that we are having two vectors a and b having magnitude of a and b line od and oc let's make a line first OC and OD these both are two lines OC OD okay in which it, it makes an angle I also told this that is called theta okay after that we said that two vectors A and B so we are having two vectors a and B then we said that having magnitude A and B so having magnitude A and B okay and lying on X axis and making angle is called a scalar product or you can say dot product hope you now understand that two vectors A and B having magnitude of a and b line od and oc makes an angle on x-axis is called dot product or you can say scalar product after that uh, mathematically i again told you that in which two vectors having dot is called dot product and it's making a magnitude of a and b with an angle okay is called a scalar quantity let's move further to vector in vector vector is also called cross product as i told that how we should know it's a cross product it's also similar to the upper one let's uh, take a explanation first in explanation we are having same this thing the two vectors a and b have a magnitude of a and b line od and oc makes an angle on x axis but we are having one more thing these two vectors these two vectors multiplied 
and become a new vector and become a new vector is called cross product or vector product let's take one example of this that how it is so like we are having example of yeah we can take an example of uh, angular momentum force torque so let's take an example so we are having torque we can write here uh, torque is equal to like torque is a vector quantity so we are having force torque is equal to force into position in vector position vector okay or you can also write uh, we don't, don't have a sign of torque so we will remain right here torque is equal to F into R this is one example best example of a uh, vector product that when the two uh, here is torque the torque is equal to f into r force into position vector where two vectors multiplied and giving us a new vector that is torque okay is called cross product let's take another example of this like angular momentum angular momentum is equal to linear momentum linear momentum multiply by position vector like L we are representing with L L is equal to linear momentum we are having P that P is equal to MV then we are having into R position vector now both vectors two vectors cross multiplied and giving a become a new vector is called cross product or vector product you can see now let's make a diagram of this then we should move further okay over here what i said that two vectors a and b having magnitude will make our two lines o c just wait C and OD okay it's making two lines OC and OD okay hopefully you are understanding after that uh, we will make the same as like we are having uh, B over here we are having b magnitude and a having a magnitude okay these two vector multiplied are making a angle theta on x axis now when these two vectors multiply to each other it becomes a new vector over here that's where that vector is called c this vector is called C magnitude it's become a new vector over here then these two vectors multiply to each other okay in a cross multiplication it become a new vector is called vector product or cross product now we are having some rules over here for vector product so first rule we are having right hand thumb rule in right hand thumb rule what happens right hand thumb rule 
in right hand thumb rule first of all what we have to do that is straight hand is straight your hand okay curve fingers curve fingers and straight up the thumb straight up the thumb and new vector becomes okay like we are having here a into b is equal to a b sin theta as i told you why we are writing sin theta and cos theta over here like for x axis we were writing the sin theta or cos theta for the y axis we are writing a sin theta so we are having new product new vector on x axis so we have written sin theta as an angle and we will uh, we don't write over here a direction so for the direction we will write here as i told you uh, as we have done in last one last lecture that free vector in free vector what we are doing to determine the direction of a vector we are using this one sign that is a unit vector which shows the direction of a vector a and b okay it's not having a much more work it's just showing the direction second rule we are having right hand screw rule i will also tell you this one screw rule that how this screw rule uh, happening first of all i should write over here turning from a to b so we are having a into b is equal to c and c is equal to a b sin theta after that we will also put over here brackets and with that the unit vector okay after that turning from b to a then what we will be having b will multiply with a is equal to we are on negative side so it will be minus d give a name of minus d is equal to b a sin theta with that we are having unit vector okay so now we can write over here like a multiply by b or b multiply by a okay yeah one more thing i just forgot to tell you guys that uh, a scalar product obeys a commutative law and vector product not obeys commutative law okay so how like uh, in a scalar a plus b is equal to b plus a this rules happen but in vector a plus b is not is equal to b plus a okay because there will be the negative sign so let move further with that we can write over here that c is equal to minus d because b multiplied by a and a multiplied by b both answer will be same so c is equal to minus d so we can write here that a multiply by b is equal to minus b multiply by a okay hope you are understanding now let's make a diagram first okay in right hand thumb rule what happens that it's like a uh, rule for vector product as i said that it's become a new vector so like this is our hand okay 
I said that curve the fingers. Okay. Then we will curve our fingers. Let's make a new angle over here. Okay. And then this is our complete hand. This was our complete hand. Then we what we did we did we have curve our fingers. New angle formed. After I will say that take your thumb up. So you will take your thumb up. So you are understanding now that here we are having these two vectors we are having and it becomes a new vector in right hand thumb rule okay now let's move uh, further with the right hand screw rule what happens in right hand screw rule that i said the turning from a to b and b to a so turning from a to b let's suppose that we are this is we are having a screw okay no wait let me make another let's suppose this is screw okay let's suppose this is a screw okay when we will using right hand uh, screw rule when it's turning from a to b means in uh, we are taking it outside like this is you can say this is a a okay our force is going over here this is a b and the new vectors comes means it's coming outside so it's a new vector becomes so it's c okay right here a base b we use our hand to uh, move it outward and what will happen that it moves outward it's become a new vector c now same rule happen from turning from b to a like it was going from a to b means from inside to outside now from outside to inside what will happen we will putting force outside uh, inside a will be produced and with a what uh, the new vector becomes that we are having d that we are having d because it's going uh, inward so it's giving us a new vector now let's see we are making a graph over here here we are x-axis y-axis and minus y-axis so it's going inside so it having minus d minus y-axis okay so turning from a to b having a new vector c turning from b to a inward we are having new vector minus t so this was the proper rule to understand the vector product or you can say the uh, cross product Hope you understood today's lecture very clearly. Thank you so much for listening.